August 2011, Lakota bull test. Bulls on test, hanging out under a tree around 11 o'clock on August 7th. Uh, have not had rain in about a month. Have had 12 of the last 14 days with the heat index above 100. Uh, bulls have held up remarkably well. Quiet as always. Lounge another under a tree here in the middle of the day. Try to give you some idea of the shape these guys are in. Sale is December 2nd. Culpeper Ag Enterprise. All the usual players have bulls involved this year uh, that are doing real well. Copy of the spreadsheet and performance data, as always, is available at www.lakotabulltest.com. Work our way around them a little bit. Give you a better look at some of the individual bulls. Mustang Sun laying here. Popular new bull here at Lakota. P60 Buckeye Sun. Bull comes from Bill Elkins. First bull he's consigned to our test. I know Bill wants to look at his bull, so I'll creep in here and ask him to stand up and see how wild these guys are. Most of our consigners are fairly local. Uh, all of our Angus consigners, with the exception of Bill. Uh, Bill's got a nice Nice addition to this year's test. Nowhere will you find quieter bulls than these. Uh, as always, grown out on nothing but grass. The entire time they're here. One of Jim Wiley's bulls laying here. He's lost his ear tag. Texan Bull from Otto McCarty out of South Carolina, the Rotokawa 688 Sun, one of Tommy Clark's Bronvy Bulls from Mystic Hill, a little heavy muscle type bull. The only good bull laying here is uh, out of the Crooked Tree Bull. Uh, the national champion Devon Bull in 2010. This is a Tapaway 509 Sun. Another Tapaway 509 Sun behind him. It's another P60 Buckeye Sun here in the front. That's a Tapaway 635 Sun. Jim Wiley's other bull walking away from us here. Tommy Clark's hanging this bull. This bull here comes from Pitt Creek Ranch in Texas from Preston Carlton. Frank Heron. Uh, so I guess I lied early when I said our Devon breeders were uh, 
or local, what I was saying, Angus. This is one of Jacob Owens, uh, Devin Bulls from Brookview Farm in Kentucky walking away from us. Anyway, it's hot as it's been here. Hate to make a move out of these trees anymore. Certainly you can see the condition these bulls have made. Uh, we've already cut over half the bulls off test. So again, we're learning that performance is uh, certainly a greater indicator than, than pedigree or, or any numbers. Uh, a lot of bulls that are supposed to work on grass aren't doing it. Uh, these guys are doing it. They're proving it day in and day out with no substitutions, no crutches, no help along the way. Uh, hope to get you here in December to have a closer look. Thank you.